The Kagyu, Kagyu, or Kagyu Tibetan, Wiley, BKA, Bergyud school, also known as the Oral Lineage or Whispered Transmission School, is today regarded as one of six main schools chose lugs of Himalayan or Tibetan Buddhism. The central teaching of Kagyu is the doctrine of Mahamudra, the Great Seal. The early Kagyu tradition soon gave rise to a bewildering number of independent sub-schools or sub-sects. The principal Dagpo Kagyu lineages existing today as organized schools are the Karma Kagyu, Driking Kagyu and the Drukpa lineage. Topic. Nomenclature, orthography and etymology Strictly speaking, the term BKA Bergud, oral lineage, precept transmission, applies to any line of transmission of an esoteric teaching from teacher to disciple. There are references to the Atisa Kagyu for the Kadam or to Jonang Kagyu for the Jonang and Ganden Kagyu for the Gelug sects. Today, however, the term Kagyu almost always refers to the Dagpo Kagyu and, less often, to the Shangpa Kagyu. Topic. Kagyu and Kargyu In his 1970 article Golden Rosaries of the BKA Bergud Schools, E. Jean Smith discusses the two forms of the name, Wiley, BKA Bergud and Wiley, DKAR Bergud. A note is in order regarding the two forms DKAR Bergud Pa and BKA Bergud Pa. The term BKA Bergud Pa simply applies to any line of transmission of an esoteric teaching from teacher to disciple. We can properly speak of a Zhou Nong BKA Bergud Pa or DGE LDAN BKA Bergud Pa for the Zhou Nong Pa and DGE Lugs Pa sects. The adherents of the sects that practice the teachings centering around the Phyag Rgya Chen Po and the Na Ro Cho's drug are properly referred to as the Dwags Po Bka Bergud Pa because these teachings were all transmitted through Sgam Po Pa. Similar teachings and practices centering around the Ni Gu Cho's drug are distinctive of the Shangs Pa Bka Bergud Pa. These two traditions with their offshoots are often incorrectly referred to simply as Bka Bergud Pa. Some of the more careful Tibetan scholars suggested that the term DKAR Bergud Pa be used to refer to the Dwags Po BKA Bergud Pa, Shangs Pa BKA Bergud Pa and a few minor traditions transmitted by Na Ro Pa, Mar Pa, Mi La Ras Pa, or Ras Chung Pa but did not pass through Sgam Po Pa. The term DKAR Bergud Pa refers to the use of the white cotton meditation garment by all these lineages. This complex is what is normally known, inaccurately, as the BKA Bergud Pa. Thu Quan Blo Bazang Cho's Ki Nyi Ma sums up the matter. In some later Brug Pa texts the written form DKAR Bergud indeed appears, because Mar Pa, Mila, Gling Ross, and others wore only white cotton cloth. Nevertheless, it is fine if they are all called BKA Bergud. At Thu Quan's suggestion, then, we will side with convention and use the term BKA Bergud. One source indicates T he term Kagyu derives from the Tibetan phrase meaning lineage of the four commissioners. Ka Bab Shi Gyu Pa. This fourfold lineage is the illusory body and transference yogas of the Guyasamaha and Chattishpitha Tantra, transmitted through Tilopa, Nagarjuna, Indrabhuti, and Saraha. The dream yoga practice of the Mahamaya from Tilopa, Charyapa, and Kakuripa. The clear light yoga of the Chakrasamvara, Hevajra, and other mother tantras, as transmitted from Hevajra, Dambipa, and Lavapa, and The inner heat yoga, Kamadevavajra, Padmavajra, Dakini, Kalpabhadra, and Tilopa. Topic. Origins Kagyu begins in Tibet with Marpa Lhotsawa who trained as a translator with Lhotsawa Dragmi Shakya Yeshe Wiley, Bragmi Lo Sa Ba Shakya Yi Shis, 993-1050, and then traveled three times to India and four times to Nepal in search of religious teachings. His principal gurus were the Siddhas Naropa, from whom he received the close lineage of Mahamudra and Tantric teachings, and Maitripada, from whom he received the distant lineage of Mahamudra. Together Marpa, Milarepa and Gampopa are known as 
Mar Mi Dag Sum, Wiley, Mar Mi Dwags Gsum, and together these three are considered the founders of the Kagyu school of Buddhism in Tibet. Topic: <laughs> Indian origins. Marpa's guru Naropa was the principal disciple of Tilopa from East Bengal. From his own teachers Tilopa received the four lineages of instructions Wiley, BKA, Babs BZHI, which he passed on to Naropa who codified them into what became known as the Six Doctrines or Six Dharmas of Naropa. These instructions consist a combination of the completion stage SKT, Sampanakrama, Tib, Rd Zog's Rim, practices of different Buddhist highest yoga tantras SKT. Anuttara Yoga Tantra, Wiley, Bla Med Rgyud, which use the energy winds SKT, Vayu, Wiley, R Lung, energy channels SKT, Nadi, Wiley, RTSA and energy drops of the subtle Vajra body in order to achieve the four types of bliss, the clear light mind and realize the state of Mahamudra. The Mahamudra lineage of Tilopa and Naropa is called the direct lineage or close lineage. As it is said that Tilopa received this Mahamudra realization directly from the Dharmakaya Buddha Varadhara and this was transmitted only through Naropa to Marpa. The distant lineage of Mahamudra is said to have come from the Buddha in the form of Vajradhara through incarnations of the bodhisattvas Avalokiteshvara and Manjusri to Saraha, then from him through Nagarjuna, Shivaripa, and Maitripada to Marpa. The Mahamudra teachings from Saraha that Maitripa transmitted to Marpa include the Essence Mahamudra, Wiley, Snying Poe Phyag Chen, where Mahamudra is introduced directly without relying on philosophical reasoning or yogic practices. According to some accounts, on his third journey to India, Marpa also met Atisa, who later came to Tibet and helped found the Kadam lineage. <laughs> Marpa and his successors. Marpa Kagyu. Marpa established his seat at Draolung Wiley, Gro Bo Lung in Lodric in southern Tibet just north of Bhutan. Marpa married the Lady Dagmama, and took eight other concubines as mudras. Collectively they embodied the main consort and eight wisdom dakini in the mandala of his yidam, Hevajra. Marpa wanted to entrust the transmission lineage to his oldest son, Dharma Dode, following the usual Tibetan practice of the time to transmit of lineages of esoteric teachings via hereditary lineage father son or uncle nephew, but his son died at an early age and consequently he passed his main lineage on through Milarepa. Dharma Dode's incarnation as Indian master Tifupa became important for the future development of Kagyu in Tibet. Marpa's four most outstanding students were known as the Four Great Pillars. Wiley, Ka Chen Bzhi. Milarepa, born in Gungnang province of western Tibet, the most celebrated and accomplished of Tibet's yogis, who achieved the ultimate goal of enlightenment in one lifetime became the holder of Marpa's meditation or practice lineage. Nak Choku Dorje, Wiley, Rngog Cho's Skew Rdorje was the principal recipient of Marpa's explanatory lineages and particularly important in Marpa's transmission of the Hevajra Tantra. Nak Choku Dorje founded the Langmalung Temple in the Tang Valley of Bumthang District, Bhutan which stands today. The Nak branch of the Marpa Kagyu was an independent lineage carried on by his descendants at least up to the time of the second Drukshan Gyalwang Kunga Paljor Wiley, Brug Chen Kun Dga D Pal Byor, 1428-1476 who received this transmission, and 1476 when Go Lotsawa composed the Blue Annals. Shirtan Wang E Dorje Wiley, M T Shur Stan D Bang G R D O R J E or Shirtan Wangdor was the principal recipient of Marpa's transmission of the teachings of the Guyasamaha Tantra. Shirtan's lineage eventually merged with the Shalu monastery tradition and subsequently passed this down to the Gelug founder Jasangkapa, who wrote extensive commentaries on the Guyasamaha Tantra. Metan Sonpo Wiley, M E S Stan T Shan Po. Other important students of Marpa include. Marpa Dawa Choki Wangchuk Wiley, Marpa Duba Cho's Ki D Bang Phyag. Marpa Goleg Wiley, Marpa Mgo Legs who along with Shirtan Wangdor received the Guyasamaha Tantra. 
Barang Bawasan Wiley, Barang Lba ba Ken, who received lineage of the explanatory teachings of the Mahamaya Tantra, Jamgon Kongtrul (1813–1899), collected the initiations and sadhanas of surviving transmissions of Marpa's teachings together in the collection known as the Kagyu Nagakzo (Tibetan: Wiley, B.K.A. Burgud Snags M.D. Zod, Treasury of Kagyu Tantras. Topic. Milarepa and his disciples Among Milarepa's many students were Gampopa 1079 a great scholar, and the great yogi Rechung Dorje Drakpa, also known as Rechungpa. Gampopa Gampopa combined the stages of the path tradition of the Kadam order with teaching and practice of the Mahamudra and the six yogas of Naropa he received from Milarepa synthesizing them into one lineage, which came to be known as Dagpo Kagyu. The main lineage of the Kagyu tradition passed down via Naropa as we know it today. The other main lineage of the Kagyu is the Shangpa Kagyu, passed down via Niguma. Following Gampopa's teachings, there evolved the so-called four major and eight minor lineages of the Dagpo sometimes rendered Tagpo or Dagpo Kagyu school. This phrase is descriptive of the generation or order in which the schools were founded, not of their importance. <laughs> Dagpo Kagyu The principal Dagpo Kagyu lineages existing today as organized schools are the Karma Kagyu, Dricking Kagyu and the Drukpa lineage. For the most part, the teachings and main esoteric transmissions of the other Dagpo Kagyu lineages have been absorbed into one or another of these three independent schools. There were twelve main sub-schools of the Dagpo Kagyu derived from Gampopa and his disciples. Four primary branches stemmed from direct disciples of Gampopa and his nephew, and eight secondary branches derived from Gampopa's disciple Phagmo Drupa. Several of these Kagyu traditions in turn developed their own branches or sub-schools. The terminology, primary and secondary, Che Chung for the Kagyu schools can only be traced back as far as Kongtrul's writings 19th century. The Tibetan terminology, Che Chung, literally large and small does not reflect the size or influence of the schools as for instance the dricking school was in the 13th century probably the largest and most influential of them although it is according to control secondary topic <laughs> four primary branches of the dagpo kagyu topic <laughs> karma kamtsing karma kagyu The Drubgyu Karma Kamtsing, often known simply as Karma Kagyu, was founded by one of Gampapa's main disciples Dusam Kienpa, 1st Karmapa Lama The Karma Kagyu itself has three subschools in addition to the main branch Sermang, founded by Trungmes, 1st Zermang Garwing Rinpoche, a student of Deshan Shekpa, 5th Karmapa Lama, this sub-sect was centered on Sermang Monastery, in what is now Qinghai, Nadu Kagyu Wiley, GNASMDO, founded by Karma Chagma Wiley, Karma Chags Med, 1613-1678, a disciple of the 6th Shamarpa Wiley, ZHWADMAR chose Ki D. Bang Phyag, 1584-1630 Gyalton Kagyurangjing Dorje, 3rd Karmapa Lama, was influential in the spread of Buddha nature teachings, which are still being taught in contemporary Kagyu. He also influenced Dalpopa Sharab Gyaltsen, the founder of the Jonang school who systematized the Shentong teachings. Topic. Karmapa controversy Following the death of Rangjing Rigpa Dorje, 16th Karmapa in 1981, followers came to disagree over the identity of his successor. In the early 1990s two main candidates, Ogyan Trinli Dorje and Trinli Thay Dorje, were publicly identified. The 14th Shamarpa, recognized Trinli Thay Dorje as the 17th Karmapa, while other senior Karma Kagyu incarnates, including the 12th Thai Situpa and 12th Goshir Gyaltsab, recognized Ogyan Trinli Dorje as the 17th Karmapa, as did the Dalai Lama and majority senior monks of the Karma Kagyu school. Both of these candidates underwent enthronement ceremonies and each is now considered by his respective followers as the 17th Karmapa. 
A minority of Karma Kagyu adherents recognize both candidates as legitimate incarnations of the previous Karmapa. Topic: <laughs> Baram Kagyu. The Baram Kagyu was founded by Gampapa's disciple Barampa Dharma Wangchik Wiley, Ba Ram Pa Dharma D. Bang Phyag, 1127-1199-1200, who established the Nak River Baram Rewash Monastery Wiley, Nag Chu Ba Ram Ri Bo Che in 1160. An important early master of this school was Tishri Repa Sharab Senj Wiley, Gro Mgon T. Shri Ras Pa Rab Seng Ge, 1164-1236. This school was popular in the Principality of Nangchen in Kham modern Nankin County, Yushu Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, Southern Qinghai where it has survived in one or two pockets to the present day. Tulku Urjian Rinpoche was a holder of the Baram Kagyu lineage. <laughs> Chalpa Kagyu The Chalpa Kagyu was established by Zhang Yudrakpa Sandru Drakpa Wiley, Zhang G. Y. U. Brag Pa Bertsen Grew Brag's Pa, 1123 1193, who founded Tsel Gungtang Monastery Wiley, Chal Gung Thang. Lama Zhang was a disciple of Gampapa's nephew Dagpo Gomsul Sultam Nyingpo Wiley, Dwags S. G. O. M. T. S. H. U. L. Krim Snyingpo, 1116 1169. The Chalpa Kagyu tradition continued to function independently until the 15th century when it was absorbed by the Gelug, who still maintain many of its transmissions. All of the former T. Shelpa properties became Gelug possessions under the administration of Sarah Monastery. Phagdru <laughs> Kagyu The Phagmo Drupa Kagyu Tibetan. Wiley, Phag Mo Gru Pa Bka or Phagdru Kagyu, was founded by Phag Mo Drupa Dorje Gyalpo Tibetan. Wiley, Phag Mo Gru Pa Rdorje or Gyalpo, 1110-1170 who was the elder brother of the famous Nyingma Lama Ka Dampa Dashek 1122-1192 founder of Katak Monastery. Before meeting Gampopa, Dorje Gyalpo studied with Sachin Kunga Nyingpo Sachen Kun Dga Snyingpo from whom he received Lamdra transmission. From 1435 to 1481, the power of the Phagmodrupa declined and they were eclipsed by the Rinpungpa Wiley, R -I -N Spungs -pa of Sang, who patronized the Karma Kagyu. The Phagmodrupa Monastery of Densa Thel was completely destroyed during the Cultural Revolution in 1966–1978. Eight secondary branches of the Dagpo Kagyu The eight secondary lineages of the Dagpo Kagyu all trace themselves to disciples of Phagmo Drupa. Some of these secondary schools, notably the Dricking Kagyu and Drukpa Kagyu, became more important and influential than others. <laughs> Dricking Kagyu One of the most important of the Kagyu sects still remaining today, the Dricking Kagyu, takes its name from Driging Monastery founded by Jigten Sumgon, also known as Dricking Kyopa. The special Kagyu teachings of the Dricking tradition include the Single intention. Wiley, D. Gong's GCIG. The essence of Mahayana teachings. Wiley, Thag Chen B. Stan Pai Snying Po, and the Fivefold Profound Path of Mahamudra. Wiley, Lam Zabmo Phyag Chen Lngaldan. Since the 15th century, the Dricking Kagyupa received influence from the Northern Terma. Wiley, Byang Gter teachings of the Nyingma tradition. Topic. Linger Kagyu Linger Kagyu refers to the lineages founded by Lingrepa Pema Dorje Wiley, Gling Ras Pa Padma Rdorje also known as Nafupa after Nafu Monastery Sna Fu Dgon he founded near Dorje Drak Rdorje Brag in central Tibet Dibus. Lingrepa's teachers were Gampapa's disciple Phagmo Drupa Dorje Gyalpo, Rechungpa's disciple Sumpa Repa, and Ra Yeshe Senj, a lineage holder of Ra Latsawa. Drukpa lineage 
The Drukpa lineage was established by Ling Repa's main disciple, Sangpa Gyare (1161–1211), who established monasteries at Longbal (Wiley: Klong Rbol) and Rilung Monastery (Wiley: Rwa Lung). Later, Sangpa Gyare went to a place called Nam Phu where, legend has it, nine roaring dragons rose from the ground and soared into the sky. The Tibetan word for dragon is Druk Wiley, Brug, so Sangpa Gare's lineage and the monastery he established at the place became known as the Drukpa and he became known as the Gyalwang Drukpa. This school became widespread in Tibet and in surrounding regions. Today the southern Drukpa lineage is the state religion of Bhutan, and in the western Himalayas, Drukpa lineage monasteries are found in Ladakh, Zanskar, Lahal and Kinor. Along with the Mahamudra teachings inherited from Gampopa and Phagmo Drupa Dorje Gyalpo, particular teachings of the Drukpa lineage include the Six Cycles of Equal Taste, Wiley, Ro Sneam Score Drug, a cycle of instructions said to have been hidden by Rechung Dorje Drakpa and discovered by Sangpa Gyare, and the Seven Auspicious Teachings, Wiley, Rten Brel Rab Bdun revealed to Sangpa Gyare by seven Buddhas who appeared to him in a vision at Zari. Topic. Shuksep Kagyu The Shuksep Kagyu Wiley, Shug -E Bergud, was established by Gyargam Chenpo Zhanu Drakpa Wiley, Gyar S -G -O -M Chen Po G Z H O N Nu Grags Pa who founded the Shuksep Monastery in Nyafu. The Shuksep Kagyu emphasized the Mahamudra teachings of the Dohas, spiritual songs of realization by Indian masters such as Saraha, Shivaripa, Tilopa, Naropa, and Maitripa. A notable member of this lineage was the nun Shuksep Jetson Chanyi Zangmo. Taklung Kagyu The Taklung Kagyu Wiley, Stag Lungs BKA Bergud, named after Taklung Monastery established in 1180 by Taklung Thangpa Tashi Pal 1142 Topic: <laughs> Trofu Kagyu The Trofu Kagyu Wiley, K -h -r -o -fu -b -k -a Bergud was established by Giltsa Rinchen Gon Wiley, Urgeel Tsharin Chen M Gon, 1118-1195 and Kundan Repa Wiley, Kun Ldan Ras Pa, 1148-1217. The tradition was developed by their nephew, Thropu Latsawa, who invited Pandit Shakyasri of Kashmir, Buddhasri and Maitrayogan to Tibet. The most renowned adherent of this lineage was Bhutan Rinchen Drub of Zalu, who was a student of Trofupa Sanam Seng Wiley, Khro Fu Ba Bsod Nams Seng and Trofu Kenchen Rinchen Senj Wiley, Khro Fu M Khan Chen Rin Chen Seng. Other notable teachers of this tradition include Chegampa Sharab Dorje 1130-1200, Yazang Kagyu The Yazang Kagyu Wiley, G. Ya Bazang Bka Bergud, founded by Shirawa called in Yeshe Seng, D. 1207. His foremost disciple was Yazang Choj Cho Monlam who in 1206 established the monastery of Yabzhong, also known as Nedong Dzong, in Yarlung. The Yazang Kagyu survived as an independent school at least until the 16th century. Topic: <laughs> Yelpa Kagyu. The Yelpa Kagyu Wiley, Yelpa Bka Rgyud, was established by Druptop Yeshe Sekpa Wiley, Drub Thob Yishis Pa B 1134. He established two monasteries, Shar Yelfuk Wiley, Shar Yelfug, and Jeng Tana Wiley, Byang Rtarnadgon. Topic: <laughs> Shangpa Kagyu. The Shangpa Kagyu Wiley, Shangs Pa Bka Bergud, differs in origin from the better known Marpa or Dagpo school that is the source of all present day Kagyu schools. The Dagpo school and its branches primarily came from the lineage of the Indian siddhas Tilopa and Naropa transmitted in Tibet through Marpa, Milarepa, Gampopa and their successors. 
In contrast, the Shangpa lineage descended from two female siddhas, Naropa's consort Niguma and Varupa's disciple Sukhasiddhi, transmitted in Tibet in the 11th century through Kyungpo Nenjur. The tradition takes its name from the Shang Valley where Kyungpo Nenjur established the Gampa of Zongzhong or Zhangzhong. For seven generations, the Shangpa Kagyu lineage remained a one to one transmission. Although there were a few temples and retreat centers in Tibet and Bhutan associated with the Shangpa transmission, it never really was established as an independent religious institution or sect. Rather, its teachings were transmitted down through the centuries by lamas belonging to many different schools. In the 20th century, the Shangpa teachings were transmitted by the first Kalu Rinpoche, who studied at Palpung Monastery, the seat of the Thai Siddhapa. Doctrines Mahamudra The central teaching of Kagyu is the doctrine of Mahamudra, the Great Seal, as elucidated by Gampopa in his various works. This doctrine focuses on four principal stages of meditative practice, the four yogas of Mahamudra, namely the development of single-pointedness of mind. The transcendence of all conceptual elaboration The cultivation of the perspective that all phenomena are of a single taste The fruition of the path, which is beyond any contrived acts of meditation It is through these four stages of development that the practitioner is said to attain the perfect realization of Mahamudra. Topic. Six Yogas of Naropa Important practices in all Kagyu schools are the tantric practices of Kakrasamvara and Vajravarahi, and particularly the six yogas of Naropa. <inaudible> Shentong Shentong views the Two Truths doctrine as distinguishing between relative and absolute reality, agreeing that relative reality is empty of self-nature, but stating that absolute reality is empty. Wiley, Stong only of other Wiley, ji zan, relative phenomena, but is itself not empty. This absolute reality is the ground or substratum, which is uncreated and undestructible, non-composite and beyond the chain of dependent origination. Dalpopa identified this absolute reality with the Buddha nature. The Shentong view is related to the Ritnagatravabhaga Sutra and the Yogacara Madhyamaka synthesis of Santaraksita. The truth of sunyata is acknowledged, but not considered to be the highest truth, which is the empty nature of mind. Insight into sunyata is preparatory for the recognition of the nature of mind. Hukam explains the Shentong position, referring to her Karma Kagyu teacher Kenpo Sultrim's progressive stages of meditation on emptiness. Kenpo Sultrim presents five stages of meditation, which he relates to five different schools or approaches. Sravaka meditation on non-self. Meditation on the emptiness of the skandhas and the non-existence of a personal self. Chitamatra approach. Meditation on the mind stream, the ever-continuing process of perception, and the non-duality of perceived and perceiver. Svatantrika Madhyamaka approach. Meditation on all dhammas, which are empty of self-nature, and the negation of any substance. Prasangika Madhyamaka approach. Meditation on the non-conceptual nature of both the appearance of phenomena and their self-emptiness. In this approach, all concepts are to be abandoned. Shentong Yogacara Madhyamaka meditation on Paramathasatya, absolute reality, Buddhajnana, which is beyond concepts, and described by terms as truly existing. Quote, this approach helps to overcome certain residual subtle concepts. And the habit, fostered on the earlier stages of the path, of negating whatever experience arises in his, her mind. Quote, it destroys false concepts, as does prasangika, but it also alerts the practitioner to the presence of a dynamic, positive reality that is to be experienced once the conceptual mind is defeated. Topic. Literature 
In terms of view, the Kagyu, particularly the Karma Kagyu emphasize the Hevajra Tantra with commentaries by Jamgon Kongtrul Lodro Thē and Dakpo Tashi Namgyal, the Uttaratantra with commentaries by Jamgon Kongtrul Lodro Thē and another by Golo Shonu Pal as a basis for studying Buddha nature, and the third Karmapa Rangjing Dorje's Profound Inner Principles with commentaries by Rangjing Dorje and Jamgon Kongtrul as a basis for Tantra. Notes References Sources Further reading Capstein, Matthew. The Shangs Pa Bka An Unknown School of Tibetan Buddhism. In M. Aris and Ong San Suu Kyi eds, Studies in Honor of Hugh Richardson Warminster, Aris and Phillips, 1980, pp. 138–44. Kenpo Kanchog Gyaltsen. The Great Kagyu Masters, The Golden Lineage Treasury. Ithaca, Snow Lion Publications, 1990. A translation of part of the BKA Bergud Ki R N A M Tharchen Mo a collection of Bri Gung BKA Bergud Hagiographies by R D O R J E M D Z E S Odd. Quintman, Andrew, Transl. The Life of Milarepa. Penguin Classics, 2010. ISBN 978-0-14-310622-7. Roberts, Peter Allen. The Biographies of Rechungpa, The Evolution of a Tibetan Hagiography. London, Routledge, 2007. ISBN 0-415-76995-7 Smith, E. Jean. Golden Rosaries of the BKA Schools. In Among Tibetan Texts, History and Literature of the Himalayan Plateau, ed. Curtis R. Sheffer, 39-52. Boston, Wisdom Publications, 2001. ISBN 0-86171-179-3 Smith, E. Jean. The Shangs Pa Bka Burgued Tradition. In Among Tibetan Texts, History and Literature of the Himalayan Plateau, ed. Curtis R. Sheffer, 53-57. Boston, Wisdom Publications, 2001. ISBN 0-86171-179-3. Smith, E. Jean. Padma Dkar Po and His History of Buddhism. In Among Tibetan Texts, History and Literature of the Himalayan Plateau, ed. Curtis R. Sheffer, 81-86. Boston, Wisdom Publications, 2001. ISBN 0-86171-179-3. Thay, Jampa A. Garland of Gold. Bristol, Ganesha Press, 1990. ISBN 0-9509119-3-3. Thinley, Karma. The History of the Sixteen Karmapas of Tibet 1980, ISBN 1-57062-644-8 Brunholzl, Karl. Luminous Heart, The Third Karmapa on Consciousness, Wisdom, and Buddha Nature Snow Lion Publications, 2009. Rinpoche, Drikking Kyabgan Chetsing. The Practice of Mahamudra Snow Lion Publications 2009. Rinpoche, Kenpo Kanchog Gyaltsen. The Great Kagyu Masters, The Golden Lineage Treasury Snow Lion Publications 2006 External links Martin, Dan The Kagyu Tradition of Tibetan Buddhism at Treasury of Lives Kagyu Lineage Chart Baram Kagyu Baram Kagyu Chodrak Pend Link Topic. Drinking Kagyu Sites The Drinking Kagyu Official Site Topic. Drukpa Kagyu Site of His Holiness Gyalwang Drukpa Drukpa Kagyu Lineage, Dorzong Rinpoche Drukpa Mila Center tilde a Bhutanese Drukpa Kagyu Center Topic. Karma Kamtsing Kagyu Topic. Sites associated with Trinlithay Dorje 
Karmapa the Black Hat Lama of Tibet, official homepage Karma Kagyu Tradition, official website Topic. Sites associated with Urgean Trinli Dorje Kagyu Office Karma Triana Dharmachakra Monastery, Woodstock, NY, USA Topic. Karma Kagyu sites Note, Karma Kagyu related sites that apparently do not take sides on the so-called Karmapa controversy Kengkong Tharje Buddhist Charitable Society Karma Thinli Rinpoche Taklung Kagyu Rewash Tibetan Buddhist Temple Shangpa Kagyu Samdrup Dargay Chuling Monastery Shangpa Kagyu Network Kagyu Zamling Kunchab founded by Kayabje Kalu Rinpoche, New York, New York, USA.